What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm gonna be doing a video on uh, Brandon Bryant. Um, he's a defensive lineman that the Miami Dolphins just picked up from Cleveland. Now, um, this dude is one of the hardest people I've had to scout in a while. There's no, almost no film on him at all. Um, so I'm gonna be frank with y'all. My opinion isn't a hundred percent confirmed yet about him. I have some ideas on where we should put him. I think Cleveland had him playing out of position, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. But as you can see, like, throughout his whole career, he literally has two tackles, and then that's it. Um, he's been in the league since 2006, in and out. Uh, he originally went to Seattle, but didn't make the team. Um, then he went to the Jets, made their active roster, but really didn't play at all. Then he went to the CFL for a little while, then came back with the Browns. Um, he got in there a little bit in rotation, but really nothing much. Um, and he also went to Florida Atlantic, so that kind of made it difficult to find college film on him, so. Um, the only thing I could find was like highlights and I don't like using highlights for film. As you can see, he's like 6'2", 289 pounds, uh, as I said, FAU. Um, so, yeah, and this is according to the NFL, which I mean, according to the NFL, he's still with Cleveland and he's wearing 0-0. Zero, zero. That's not true, but, yeah. So, as far as film goes, there's really only these three plays I can really show you. Now, I did go and check some of these out um, watching the uh, broadcast film, but I'm not going to show that in the video just because that will get a copyright claim. I, I know it will. Uh, broadcast view, especially of NFL film, always does. Um college it's at least sometimes doesn't happen so we're gonna look at both angles they got him playing one tech which is a little weird because he's undersized but it's probably just because you know he's a rotation guy they just threw him in where they needed him so I see him more as a three tech he's number 90 he wore 69 in preseason with Cleveland but he's wearing number 90 now but if you can see the dreads that's him so, uh, yeah. Let's look at it from this angle. So, he's kind of getting double teamed here. Um, one thing I do like from him is he doesn't stop. It's one thing I do, I do like from him. He, he, he does have some tenacity to him right here it's kind of hard to see exactly what happened how he was able to get free he's kind of getting double teamed it looks like he kind of just stumbled into it kind of looks like the uh, like 52 here kind of pushed him into the center and that kind of drew them both off balance and he was able to kind of disengage that way now one thing I do like about him is that he does have some athleticism to him alright so we're switching uniforms here so this is why I don't think he should be playing one tech because at one tech you're pretty much always going to end up getting uh, double teamed and that's not where I think his strength is and he's undersized for that too I think they should be playing him at 3 tech right over here so he's going to kind of get chopped but look at the tenacity look at the athleticism he does not move like a 1 tech he has some athleticism to him Right, this is the last play, unfortunately, that I can really show you. Now, 
That's something I like. Ah, oh, this is this is a much better angle too. I don't like that he got his hands outside. I'd like to see him work on that. But he eventually fights to get that left hand inside on their chest. And he's going to use that as leverage to kind of work his way over to the ball carrier. And help make this tackle. I like that. So, as far as where I think we should play him. Like I said, Cleveland pretty much has him playing one tech. But I don't like that idea. I like him... Because he's going to get double teamed. And typically, your one tech is usually a little bigger than this. And uh, not only that, but as you've seen, he's got some athleticism to him. He can move a little bit. I'd, let, I'd rather him be playing three tech. And just kind of going after B-gap. Using that athleticism to just beat up guards. Now, it remains to be seen how good his hands are. You know, all, all, the, all those... Those very needed things for a defensive lineman but right now all I can go off of is what I can confirm and you don't just lose athleticism um, so yeah man I mean it really sucks this is really all I can show you guys but it, it just kind of is what it is like I said um, I at least wanted to point out where I would put him um, I don't know if he's going to end up really making the roster ultimately. Uh, he, most likely he's just a training camp body. I think we have other three techs that we can use. Uh, I know Miami likes to do some 3-4 three, four, and 4-3 four, things. So, in a 4-3, let him play three tech. If I, I wouldn't play him too much in 3-4 fronts. But if you have to, just put him at 3-4 uh, defensive end. I don't like the idea of putting him in nose. I really don't. I think let, put him in B-gap and just let him go. I think that's the better way to handle him. Um, he's not as good, don't get me wrong, but kind of play him like Ed Oliver a little bit. Uh, he's undersized, athletic, three-tech in my eyes. Just kind of let him attack B-gap and move on with your life so yeah um i'm sorry this is so short but there just isn't that much film on him uh and i'm not gonna hold you guys up all day so um yeah if you like this video i'd appreciate you hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can leave the comments down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye guys